It took a while for people to take notice of it, but eventually it happened. Dr. Stone and by extension all civilization building anime don't have tension. Everything in them is too easy and makes them almost like feel-good anime. The number one excuse everyone is using whenever people are bored is how not every episode has to be about action. You know what I mean. A fighting shonen like My Hero Academia doesn't need action in every episode, although the action is the main reason everybody is watching it for. Watching them fooling around in school activities is all you need. And it still had drama at points, so it's not completely feel-good. Well, a variation of that is saying not every episode needs people being brutally murdered, even if that goes against the core theme of the show, which is showing how brutal life can be without science, and therefore needing science, so it won't be that brutal. Without having any stakes, there is nothing to risk, or no clear indication as to why technology is that much of a big deal. The show is so lazily written that it has problems even on the other side of the spectrum. When they proclaim they will win a war without killing anyone, and by using weapons that are only making it easier to kill someone, the whole thing reeks of hypocrisy. Technology can be just as devastating as it is helpful, and yet it doesn't show anywhere. They treat it as a joke. Although the first season wasn't exactly thrilling either, at least there were moments when Sengu would be failing numerous times, or when he would need to spend months on something before there is progress. It was enough for giving a sense of struggle and how nothing is easily achieved. The second season doesn't do that anymore. Senku does everything right and very fast, thus nothing is at stake. Like the comment here mentions, it's no longer like Castaway and became more like Gilligan's Island. And no, you cannot say it was like Gilligan's Island right from the start and that people were watching it wrong. It was very different at first because Senku wasn't the main character. It was that generic friend of his who didn't know shit about science. During the episodes when he was the protagonist, the show was way more action survival. Then it changed to the lol science it is now. Another excuse many are using when they can't deny how tensionless the whole thing is, is simply calling it a breath of fresh air. There are lots of series that have a lot of violence, so something like Dr. Stone makes it stand out. See guys, it's not bad, it's different, and that makes it good. Which is not much of an excuse when you can just as easily say k is a breath of fresh air because it doesn't have the violence of Berserk, and it sure as hell is not that different from any other civilization-building anime. Was there ever any tension in the slime isekai? Was there any in Overlord or Log Horizon or No Game No Life? None of them have the stakes they are supposed to have, so no, Dr. Stone is not even a breath of fresh air. The third excuse is one you can almost accept. It's not supposed to be a serious anime, it's supposed to be a comedy that shows the beauty of science. You shouldn't expect something other than that. Anyone could get behind this reasoning if he doesn't think about the show much. Because if he does, then it's a bullshit excuse. The story is full of situations where it seems like someone is going to die, or that things are very grim, only to be proven to be fake tension because Senku is solving everything too easily. You cannot take it lightly when the show itself doesn't want you to take it lightly. Which is why a lot of people wish the story was never about some war that can't be taken seriously because they can't kill anyone and nobody can ever die. What's the point of having fake tension instead of just being prehistoric k -on? If you are not willing to commit to a bloody conflict, then cut the bullshit stone wars and don't even bother having a conflict. Although even if it did that, it would still be problematic, since the characters are to the most part mouthpieces for exposition of the technology than actual people with depth or much of a personality. Ultimately, the real appeal of the show, as well as of Slime and Overlord and Lock Horizon and No Game No Life, is the video game skill tree, which is very appealing to gamers who fancy the game mechanic of combining items and creating new skills. The civilization building aspect of this anime is a dumb game that has nothing realistic about it. The characters are shallow, the conflict is non-existent, science comes down to a video game, and the fake tension is only making them more pretentious.